Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the original Nivea cream, which is also a multi-purpose cream that you can not only use as your typical face moisturizer, but also for your body and for example as a face mask. And I'm going to go over the different application methods and also on how you can use it properly in depth so that you can also try it out at home and also see what works best for you. Now the original Nivea cream is a very thick cream that also has a lovely fragrance so if you don't mind fragrance you're going to love that one it still is very subtle it's very rich and thick in texture that also makes it more suitable for people that have dry to very dry skin also for example uh, during the winter season when your skin also becomes dry this is where this moisturizer can become very handy and you can also use it as your face moisturizer or also body moisturizer daily in the morning and or evening and you can also if you feel the need reapply it during the day depending also on how dry your skin is and so what it's basically going to do is not only moisturize your skin but also protect the skin so that the dryness also feels less dry and tight on the skin it also protects it from water loss so that you also will have smoother skin and also feels more comfortable now when also using this one um, for example in the morning or evening which is of course personal preference then I also recommend getting into a little skincare routine which also means that for example starting off with step number one which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type as well as skin needs so that you're making sure that everything comes off like any excess oil, dirt, sweat, makeup and sunscreen and then apply the cream afterwards and the same also would be for your body if you want to use it on a body you go into the shower, wash your body once you're done in the shower then this is also when you're going to use the cream so that you're also making sure that you're always going to apply it to a freshly washed and clean face or body now I'm going to use Nivea's rose water wash gel which is also a cleanser that I have to use on a wet skin and then also later on rinse it off with water if you're using a different cleanser as I do then please make sure to read the directions on how you should use your cleanser since this can also change depending also on what cleanser you're using and so I'm going to get started with step number one which is washing your face with your cleanser Then go ahead, use a bit of your cleanser, use it between your hands and gently massage it all over your face and neck. Now when using a different cleanser, please also read on the back of the packaging if you can use it also along your eyes or if you also should avoid the eyes. As for example, with the cleanser that I'm currently using, I also have to avoid the eye area. So, and once you're done with also massaging the cleanser into the skin, you now can also go ahead and remove it the way it also describes it on the back of the packaging. For me, I now can also go ahead and rinse it off with water. Now you can also do the cleansing step in the shower, that's totally fine as well, or also above the sink. Now when also doing it above the sink, you also may find it a bit helpful when also using a fresh cloth in between, which you're going to wet, as this can also help you to remove the cleanser a bit better to make sure that everything comes off. So, and now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So now once you're done after your cleansing steps, you now can also go ahead and apply the original Nivea cream. Now this step also would be the same when also being in the shower, then once you're done in the shower, just take a big towel to also pat your body dry and then you can also move on and apply the original cream to your body as well.
Now I want to start off with the face application at first. Now when also using the original Nivea cream, since that one is also very thick in texture, you only need the tiniest amount. Otherwise it also can become very thick and also a bit too much fairly quickly. So I recommend just using a bit with your fingertip and then gently apply it over your face and neck. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck, then this can already be your last step when also using it in the evening, for example. However, if you also want to use the cream during the day and you're also being exposed to the sun, then please also don't forget to also follow it up with a good sunscreen afterwards. For example, the Nivea Sensitive Sunscreen. That one is also great to also use on your face. So that you're making sure that you can also protect the skin not only because you have dry skin but also when being outside and also being exposed to the sun to also make sure that you're not getting sunburned as well as also stay younger a bit longer. Now when also using it for example on your body you can use it all over your body if that's something that you prefer or you can also just go ahead and use it on specific areas such as your elbows or also your knees or your feet because those are mainly also the areas that can get dry and rough fairly quickly. So if you want to smoothen it, also for example your hands itself, then you can also go ahead and apply it to those areas. And it's also a great way to also do it once you're done in the shower, you have pat the skin dry and then you can also go ahead and just use the tiniest amount if you're using it only on specific areas and just go ahead and apply it for example on your elbows to also make sure that those are not being rough again, that the dryness also won't be that strong anymore and it just feels smooth and comfortable again. And so then you can also go ahead and also do this for your knees as well as for your feet if you like to. And also another great way is also that if you have, for example, very dry or cracked heels, then you can also go ahead and just before going to bed, also use a bit of the cream and apply it on your heels, especially because that's the part where you usually also can get very dry skin. And then also put your socks on and leave it overnight. And then once you're waking up, you also will have smooth feet. So if that's also a concern that you can also use it on your feet as well. Now when also using it on your body and let's say you're also going ahead and you also would use a bit too much. Now I'm just going to use a bit more so that you also can see that if you're using too much of it, it may become very uncomfortable because it is a very thick cream that can also be very greasy. And so if you see that you have used too much of it and you also want to reduce the amount of product, then you can also go ahead and take a dry cloth or dry towel, make sure it is dry because if it is wet it's going to be very messy because the cream is so thick that it's not going to remove that easily also with water. So therefore just use a dry towel and go ahead and just remove any excess so that you still can feel that the cream is on top but it is lessened and therefore also feels much comfortable on the skin and then therefore you also will have a bit more of a comfortable feeling but still also using not too much of it. So those are now two ways on how you can use it on your face as well as also on your body. And so it also will be the same with any other parts of your body depending also on how you want to use the Nivea cream. So now that I also have showed you how you can use it on your face and body, I also now want to share with you how you can use it as a face mask. So if you want to use the Nivea cream as your face mask, I also recommend doing this in the evening so that you also can get most out of it and use it like an overnight moisturizing face mask. And so what we're going to do is we're starting off with step number one, which is washing your face. Then also move on to the application of the moisturizer to your face using a fair amount. 
then you're going to leave it on the skin for like between 5 to 15 minutes and then you're going to remove any excess and whatever is left on the skin that's also what you're going to leave on the skin overnight so that you're making sure that you're really getting most out of it and that you also will wake up with very smooth skin. Now, I have already washed my face, which is also step number one. So again, don't forget this step because it can help you to remove any excess oil, dirt, makeup, sunscreen, as well as also sweat. So that you can also apply the face mask on a freshly washed and clean face. Now, I have already done this so that I can immediately move on to the actual application. Now, just make sure that after your cleansing part that you're going to pat the skin dry because if you're going to apply it on wet skin, this is going to be very messy because the cream is so thick. And so once you're done with that specific step, just go ahead and use a fair amount of the original Nivea cream so that you also have a thick layer on the skin. And you can also do this by applying it with your finger. And so just go ahead, use one or two fingers and then gently also start applying it on your face so that you're making sure that you're getting all those areas covered and that you can feel that you have a thicker layer of the moisturizer on your skin. So, and once you have applied it evenly all over your face, you can also go further down to your neck and decolletage if you like to, then you're basically going to do the same thing. Then now you can also go ahead and leave it on the skin for 5 to 15 minutes. That's personal preference. You can also start off with 5 minutes at first and then also maybe add it more the more often you're going to use it and also to see if you also like the feeling afterwards. And so I'm now going to wait also a bit so that it also can sink in a bit into the skin so that it also can have smooth skin afterwards. Now after you have waited between 5 to 15 minutes, depending also on your preference, you now can also go ahead and remove most of it. But please make sure that you still also keep a very thin layer on the skin since this is an overnight moisturizing mask. We are now just going to remove any excess, which again is most of it. Now when also removing it, it's really important to make sure that you're using either a dry towel or also dry cloth. Please do not wet it because if you're going to wet it, this is going to be such a mess since this moisturizer is there to protect your skin. So if you're going to use water on top, it's just going to smear it around but nothing else happens. So please make sure that if you also want to remove most of it, use something that's dry. And I'm also going to use a very smooth and also very gentle dry cloth to also now remove most of it but still keep a very thin layer. So now once you have removed most of it, I still can feel a very light moisturizing layer on the skin and this is also what we want to keep. And this is also now where you can go ahead and also go to bed and just leave this very thin layer on your skin until you're waking up the next morning. And then the next morning, this is also when you're going to remove everything with your cleanser. Now since we also have used Nivea cream and you have it already on your skin, you may also find it a bit more helpful to also use an oil-based cleanser since with a water cleanser it may not break it down as quickly or also as like properly. So if you're using an oil-based cleanser like the Ordinary Squalane cleanser for example, that one you're going to also apply on dry skin. Again, it's really important that you're going to apply it then also on dry skin when using an oil-based cleanser. So 
so that it also can break down the moisturizing layer that still also is on your skin and then this way you're also making sure that everything comes off if you're going to use a water-based cleanser this may become very tricky since it also has difficulties to break down the moisturizer and it still also will feel like you have something on the skin so therefore just want to give you a tip that using an oil-based cleanser can also help you to remove it all in one go now this is also what I wanted to share with you and I also do hope that you now have a better understanding of how you can use the original Nivea cream not only as a moisturizer but also on your body as well as as a face mask. And if you find this video helpful and if you like it, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye. Bye.